It is my 31st birthday and it is the 100th video for the channel for Simple Happy Zen. Can you believe it? So I thought it would be fun to celebrate with you guys and do a 31 facts about me video. Whether you are a long-term subscriber or a fairly new subscriber, there will definitely be some new things that you did not know about me. In this video, you're going to get to know me a little bit better, so I would also love to get to know you a little bit better as well. So if you're up for it, I would love it if you guys could share maybe one or two random or not so random facts about yourself in the comment section down below. I was born and raised in the Netherlands and I still live here to this day because I think it's a great country to live in and I really like it here, in spite of the awful weather, of course. There's lots of grasslands, lots of water, the cities are also beautiful, I think the people are nice. And it's known for our flat landscape and windmills and tulips. And if you travel by train, then this is what you will see for the most part. My parents are still together and I come from a family of three kids. So I have an older brother and an older sister. They are six and seven years older than me. So I was always the youngest at home. I met my boyfriend in high school 16 years ago when he transferred into my class and we are still together now and we're very happy. オランダ語と英語の他に日本語を話します。高校の時から少し勉強してて、例えば数学の練習中に平仮名を勉強したりしてました。私の人生の中で3回日本に行ったことがあって、いつも日本のすごく楽しんでいます。今3年間ほど
I love to read about Eastern philosophies, Buddhism, Taoism, and Zen. And some of my favorite authors are Alan Watts, Yongi Mingyur Rinpoche, and Thich Nhat Hanh. If you know about MBTI or the Myers-Briggs personality test, my type is the ENFJ, which is the mentor or protagonist type. I have never seen a single episode of Game of Thrones, so maybe kind of weird, just thought I'd mention it. After graduating high school, I took a gap year together with my boyfriend, so I didn't move on to college straight away, but we worked part-time for a year and we were able to save up our money and go to England, Prague and Tokyo, so it was a very fun year. My part-time job that year was as a orthodontist assistant and I was kind of surprised that they let you do that without going to school for it and I just had to learn and practice on a doll first. So what I did was just do the checkups, adjust the braces and do repairs, etc. Other part-time jobs that I've had growing up were at a bakery, at a pharmacy, I was a receptionist, I was a cashier and I worked at a restaurant. I actually studied to be a dietitian or a nutritionist, however they call that in your country, sometimes there's a difference, but I actually was a nutritionist for about a year and a half before I started my corporate job and I kind of climbed the ladder there pretty quickly and eventually became a project manager for a big corporation and I found that I just was very unhappy in that corporate world so I left it behind. I used to hate public speaking, especially as a kid, but ever since around college I came to really like it and my graduation thesis uh, won an award. So it was really cool, me and my friend got to present the paper for around 250 other dietitians, which was really cool and I found that I just kind of liked being in front of a big group of people like that. I love playing video games and I usually play Japanese RPGs, which are heavily based on story and character development and I usually describe them as very long movies where you get to play the main character. I also love to play Hatsune Miku games, which is a music-based rhythm game because I just secretly really love Hatsune Miku. One of the most beautiful trips we ever took was to Iceland and I definitely wouldn't mind going there again. It's incredibly beautiful and quiet and I felt right at home. And it was funny that people usually spoke in Icelandic to me. They just assumed that I lived there, I guess because of my pale skin. I'm not very much of a summer person and my favorite season is spring, but I also really love the fall and the winter. Summers are just not really my thing, I don't really do well in hot weather and summers here in the Netherlands they get quite hot and also pretty humid so I just don't really feel that great. So sometimes I catch myself fantasizing about getting a summer home in Iceland and spending my summers there every year where it's nice and cool. When I was a kid, I collected rocks and I was not really good at it. I didn't know any of the names. I just liked looking at them. And so one of the few things I've kept from my childhood is this uh, little box that has a few of my rocks still in it. And I just like to look at it every now and then. I love watching ASMR videos, but there's only one channel that I enjoy watching and that is called Gentle Whisperings ASMR. I think it's probably the biggest channel of ASMR there is. And if you don't know what ASMR means, it stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response and it is what they call that really nice relaxed tingly feeling that you get when for example someone is touching your hair and it's just super relaxing to watch her videos. I love to cook and I never get tired of it and I was thinking super hard for this video about my favorite food but it is just impossible to name because I just really like it all. As long as it's vegan I'll probably eat it <laughs> and uh, I'm not so much a sweets or dessert type person, I like savory foods more so my favorites include things like pasta and uh, curry Indian dishes, I like all vegetables, salads, fruits, uh, potatoes, the list is endless. I love watching movies and series more than once and I'm kind of a kid that way. I also reread most of my books. Somehow it's just better the second or third or fourth time around and especially if it's a movie that I really like. 
One of my favorite things is then to watch it with someone else who is seeing it for the first time and just seeing their reaction to it. And somehow it's just never boring for me to watch the same things over and over again. Another habit of mine is watching birds. Somehow it's very relaxing to me. And we have a lot of birds here in the Netherlands and I can see them really well from my balcony. So if I want to take a break, usually I go out there and I sit on my balcony and just watch the birds fly by. I'm actually not that comfortable in front of a camera and I guess it's kind of weird that I now have a YouTube channel and when I told my friends about it in the beginning they were very surprised because I just don't really like to be in front of a camera. I don't like to be in pictures, take pictures of myself or have someone else take pictures of me. It's not like I leave or anything, I just get over it if someone is taking pictures, but I just feel very uncomfortable. So I do enjoy taking pictures on vacation and stuff, but other than that, I just don't really like to be in front of a camera. I have a couple of fears and I'm actually a really big scaredy cat, to be honest. I think it has to do with the fact that I'm a highly sensitive person, which means that external stimuli have a very strong effect on me. So for example, I am very scared of bugs, heights, uh, needles, and I'm also pretty claustrophobic. Another fear of mine that's kind of weird is called tripophobia. I'm not going to show you any pictures because they gross me out so bad, but it's basically a fear of tiny holes, especially when they're all together in an organic substance like a flower. It makes me very uncomfortable. Eight years ago, I broke my pinky and I also hurt my knee pretty bad falling off my bicycle. Funny part though was that I was not even moving, I was just standing with my bike in front of my parents' house. I am by nature kind of a messy person to be honest and I really do love my home to be clean and neat and organized but my natural instinct is to just let the mess be. I can really easily just ignore it so minimalism really helps me out with that big time. By the way, if you enjoy my videos, then you might also like my newsletter. Every Saturday, I send out a short email filled with tips and encouragement, as well as personal news and channel updates. Of course, there is no spam and you can opt out anytime. To sign up, go to simplehappyzen.com newsletter or click the link in the description. If you're still here, thanks so much for sticking around and I hope you enjoyed the video and got to know me a little bit better. I would also love to get to know you better, so please leave some facts about yourself in the comments down below. And as always, please like, subscribe, and I will see you all again soon. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye bye.